Hi, my name is Jared Platt and I want you to take a journey with me through the process of creating a photographic project in a book form. And we're going to do that with Blurb Books. So you can see that I've got a lot of books on my table right now. Um, I make a lot of books. Most of them are for my clients. And so as I finish a wedding or a portrait, I like to present my clients with a Blurb book because they do such a great job at printing them. Uh, so I have an authoritative, beautiful printed book that the clients absolutely love. Not only do I give my clients uh, blurb books, but I also create blurb books for my own personal projects like this one which is called Notes. And I can talk more about this a little bit later. So over the course of a few videos, I'm going to show you how to select images for a book project. I'm going to show you how to design your book project in Lightroom and also in a program called BookWrite which is Blurb's free downloadable software. And then I'm going to show you how to order that book and then we're going to look at that book together once Blurb sends it back to us. So I want to go through that process with you but before we do that, I want to show you what's available when it comes to Blurb books. And so when I'm about to enter into a project, I need to know what kind of canvases I have or what kind of tools I have to tell a story. And so before I start looking for photos, I just need to know what's available to me. And so let me show you that now. Um, the first thing that we have available to us is what's called a photo book. So these are exactly the same book but they are two different styles of a photo book. So the first style of photo book, if I open this up, it's got some beautiful, beautiful paper in it, um, but you can see that it also has a gutter. And so we have to be very careful in our design to make sure that people or really important things never end up inside of the gutter. And so that's kind of the negative side of the photo book with the traditional paper. And this traditional paper is a matte, uncoated paper. It's really beautiful and it shows off the images really nicely. But it does have that gutter and so we have to be careful about the way we design it. So there's also another version of the photo book which is called a lay flat. And when you design a lay flat book, see that there's no gutter there. It's really quite nice. And the beauty of that is that when I do something like this and I cross the gutter with even people in the gutter, there's no gutter. And so because it's a lay flat design, I can see everybody, even these kids up front, the, the adults in the back. Um, this is a beautiful way to design and it opens up your design and allows you to have a lot more freedom. Now, the lay flat books have a little bit of a sheen on them because the, the fully matte paper is not available in them. Um, and so you kind of, that's the trade off. You, you have full, uh, complete design capability because you don't have a gutter, but you also have a little bit of a sheen to the paper, which is not as beautiful as the matte paper, but it's still really beautiful. Uh, it's just different. And so you have to know that that's one of the things that you're going to be dealing with. If you're going to do a lay flat book, you have a little bit of sheen to the paper. If you don't do a lay flat book and you're just going to do a regular photo book, now you can use that really toothy, beautiful matte paper, um, but you have to be aware of the gutter. So that's the first style of book is what we call a photo book. And usually um, I reserve the photo book for very large books like these 12 by 12s. Then we have what's called a magazine style. So the magazine style is just that, it's a magazine. It's got a bit of a sheen to the paper as well, but it can be a very large, so this is uh, eight and a half by 11. So it's fairly large. I can see the images nice and beautiful. It's still printed really, really well. It has a gutter just like a regular magazine would have but it's very inexpensive. So this is a really inexpensive project option for uh, designing something. So I love the magazine style. And then we have what we call trade books. And trade books can be larger or smaller and they can be hardbound or softbound. But these are beautifully printed and like the magazines, they are fairly inexpensive. So, the options that we have when we're printing a book 
is the trade book option, which are inexpensive, or the magazine option, which is also very inexpensive. And then we have the photo book option, which are fairly expensive, but also very beautiful. And they have the option for the lay flat design. So those are the options that we have when we're printing something with blurb. It's important for us to know those options before we start so that we can think about those as we're collecting images, we can think about the way we want to design this book and what the images look like and how we want to design the book is going to dictate which of these options we choose. So let's start this process and in the next video, I will show you how to organize and find and select your images for your project.